Hi guys, bit of a different video from me tonight. This week we are going to be unboxing and testing the Liquitex Basics acrylic paints that I've just bought. As you can see there, they come in a really nice range of colours. The tubes are quite small, but I guess that's great for just keeping things handy for working. Uh, a lot of these colours you're not going to use an awful lot of anyway. Um, so as they run out, you can just replace them with the bigger tubes of the ones that you know that you are going to use. Uh, they are four trays and they are in trays of 12. I've tested them on some mixed media paper. Uh, which isn't a paper that I use very often here. I think I must have bought this a, a fair few years ago now. Um, and I've just sectioned off the paper. And I'm, that's a number nine round brush, I do believe, that I'm going to use. I used the brush damp, not wet, not dry, just damp. And I just kept washing off in between, giving it a little wipe down. The tubes are plastic rather than the aluminium type that we normally see in the UK. Uh, the tops fit fine. Um, the light fast details are on each tubes as well. Uh, the Liquitex Basic range does have quite a good light fast rating. So any of those folks concerned that it might fade over time, you should be fine as long as it's kept in, in reasonable conditions. I've just marked each colour as we're going through and did it tray by tray. So if you wanted to go back, you can see the colours that I'm, I'm using. On this one, there's Prism Violet, Deep Violet, Dioxazine Purple, does that say? A Neutral Grey, an Unbleached Titanium, Ivory Black, Mars Black, Titanium White. I put a little black mark underneath the paint so that you could see how opaque it was. And then there's a gold, silver, copper and bronze that does actually have quite a nice sheen when that's dried. I'm not sure when I'll use it in a painting, but it's a nice little touch, I suppose. On the second tray, there is light portrait pink, a medium magenta. I'm not even going to try and pronounce what type of magenta that is. Alizar and crimson, primary red, cadmium red in a deep hue. And crimson, a camsium, cadmium red, sorry, in a light hue and a medium hue. There's also a cadmium orange hue, red oxide and burnt sienna. In the third tray, there's burnt umber, raw sienna, raw umber, a Naples yellow hue, yellow oxide and a bronze yellow. Cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow in a medium hue, cadmium yellow light, primary yellow, brilliant yellow green and light green permanent. Hookah's green, deep green permanent, thalo green, bright aqua green, a light blue permanent, cerulean blue, a cobalt blue I think comes next. Yep, and a primary blue, phthalo blue, light blue violet, ultramarine blue and a brilliant purple. I do think there's a quite nice mix of colours in this 48 set. Certainly a lot of good earthy tones uh, and probably enough to get you started. I think I would like a, a Payne's Grey next time I make a purchase. I do like a good Payne's Grey. There's quite a nice colour guide on the side of the box, but honestly, I think I'll keep the test strip that I've made, possibly laminate it, because as we all know, sometimes the paint inside doesn't quite match the colours that's on the box. 
I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and please consider subscribing to keep up to date with future videos and tips. If you've got any questions, please drop me a comment below. Bye for now.